What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. I be feeling like unsolved mysteries with those intros sometimes. Anyways, I got part three of a Texas jail. We've been following this UK cat around. He's doing a weekend jail for the first time kind of documentary style. But in the last episode, he said he ain't getting in the tank. The tank is a shower for anybody that doesn't know. You better get in that shit, man. Seven days, that's a little stretch. All right, so before I press play, let me give you a rundown of what you might have missed. Homeboy right here is being transferred from a low security pod, which was like the trustee pod. And now he's being transferred to a medium security dorm, and it looks like the inmates are a bit more active. Look, first and foremost, I don't care if he's going from low to medium. They ain't never going to put this guy in no serious danger. I mean, there's still a little bit of risk because you don't know what any of these guys are capable of doing. He might have woke up on the wrong side of the bed and said, I'm not going to be a good inmate today. So there's still a little bit of risk. But for the most part, I mean, these pods are well set up for a camera crew to come in, if I were to guess. And last but not least, look, if a camera crew comes into any kind of block, jail, prison, doesn't matter. Inmates are going to start acting a little crazy. Time to get in that frying pan. Turn up the heat, boys. Turn up the heat. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? You all right? Yes, yes. How you doing? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Hey, hey, what up? Hey, hey. Talk to me. You go talk to me. I don't know, man. We out here, so not the loud and the fake, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Why are they holding him like a little baby pit bull? Honestly, I think this block could turn the hell up. <laughs> Good one, fellas. Without saying who, what sort of cases are the majority of the people in here? In here? Two of us. Oh, yeah, murder. Yeah, oh, yeah, right here. Murder case, but I ain't do it. I've been in and out of this jail probably over 30 times. Since Dang. I was 16 this particular years old. jail. And I've seen the same people over and over. I want to know what help is given to the inmates on this wing who are dealing with mental health issues. Uh, I commend you. I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I'm also schizophrenic. I'm a mental health patient. Oh, so are you receiving medication for that? Absolutely. Yes. And are you getting counseling as well? Absolutely. And out there, I self-medicate. And how do you? So what do you use to self-medicate? What do you self-medicate with? Done everything. Everything from from pharmaceuticals to methamphetamine, <laughs> heroin, depending on. Yeah. Oh man. Homeboy gonna tighten his ass up after this. He said, what did you do to self-medicate? He said, everything. Homeboy in the back laughing, waiting for him to say meth. And you got homie right here who said he's in there for a murder that he didn't do. Looking at him like, tighten that shit up, man. It ain't every day we get a camera crew in here. How do you, so what do you use to self-medicate? What do you self-medicate with? Done everything. Everything from, from pharmaceuticals to methamphetamine, heroin, depending on, yeah. Get your hands up. Try, trying everything. You know? It's reassuring to hear that some of the inmates suffering from mental illness are receiving support within the jail. All right, thank you very much, guys. I guess he ain't staying the night in there, huh? Any TV crews out there, 100 grand. I'll spend a whole week in any jail block. But I have to have the green light to protect myself at any cost. Only stipulation. What's up with this damn chime music, Reggie? Get your editor, tell him, tighten up! Unit double A. Batteries. Returning to the AA unit for lunch. They put him back on the cupcake trail block. I'm surprised to see Alex emerge from his cell. Alex, man, you're supposed to be in a padded room, bro. Hey, yeah. That's what I told you. So where did you go? Because I know you went and spoke to the guards about looking at maybe after we talked i went and i uh, asked the guard if i can see a therapist or a counselor or psychiatrist the guard told me if i if i send you there they're uh, most likely you're having the thoughts and when you have thoughts here i didn't know that they strip you naked and put you in the cell by yourself damn reggie why didn't you tell his ass that <laughs> 
See, if I was a documentarist, I would have said, bruh, do not tell them fools nothing about your thoughts. You think you hear them now, wait till they strip your ass naked in a padded room with nothing. Them voices gonna be hitting you two times with the echoes. Thoughts here, I didn't know that they strip you naked and put you in a cell by yourself. Oh, Reggie, like, why'd you worse. tell me? So I told, I told them, I told them, no, I'm fine. But that <laughs> lady, I was, I was telling her my problems, what I told you. And then she told me just to man up, buck up, Damn. and just do your time. Man the f up, bruh. Why didn't you tell him that, Reggie? And there's not much we can do because you're already here. I know it's tough and I know you miss your mom. And I was crying, man. I was crying. I was. I miss my mom, you know? But the Me fact too. Is, is that there's no help. She's alive. Here. She's my neighbor. You know, there's no help here. Truth be told, I always promised myself that I would never be in prison ever. And to be here and to be complicit in the fact that I am still here is something that it doesn't really rub for me, you know, it's weird. I can change it at any moment. You know, nobody is keeping me here, but I want to be here now. I think I need to be here out of respect to the fact that these guys are telling me their deepest and darkest. So, night two, I'm about to get my head down again after having some noodles. This guy really thinks he's doing something, talking to Alex, huh? Lay it down, lay it down. You need to get in that tank, bruh. <laughs> you better get in that water. Better. Here we go, Grandma's wind chimes. Jeez. What you gonna do? Oh, wait, he's Today, got joining Michael, one of the inmates from my unit who has been given a job on the psychiatric field. Oh, he still ain't getting that water. One, one and four. This is one of the only jails in America with a facility dedicated to mental health. Ah, oh, he's going into the mental health block, then yeah, he's cool. He didn't have to take no shower. Nobody takes showers in there, man. He'll fit right in, humming like a damn two dollar bill. There's boots in here. Why would you need boots? A lot of times you guys will flood their floors. You know, um, we gotta clean them all up and stuff like that a lot of times, and we we have to do that. And uh, so we put boots on, you don't get all the, you know, stuff all over you. I can feel my calf right now hitting that door, man. I used to kick the door so much like that. <laughs> For no reason. This guy's made a bit of a mess in. As soon as the police come in and say, who the hell's kicking their door, I get up underneath my blanket. What was you thinking? Because this couldn't be more different to the pod that we stayed in. Oh, it's totally different, yeah. yeah. When, I, when I first came down here, I didn't know what to think about all this. And uh, it, it took a little bit of getting used to it. You got homeboy in the background wobbling, calling for Garcia. What was you thinking? Because this couldn't be more different to the pod that we stayed in. Oh, it's totally Johnny different, Garcia, yeah. yeah. When, I, when I first came down here, I didn't know what to think about all this. And uh, it, it took a little bit of getting used to it. No, throw it up under the door. Right. You want it? Come get it. Just put it under the door, sir. Just put it under the door. I'm not coming in. All right, I'll get it. Put it door. <laughs> she ain't okay. stepping foot in that damn hot no, box. Jail like staff a, a supervise themselves. G-string. A separate medical team handle the inmates' mental health treatment. Man, that's a white hand. Holy crap! Apparently, the like inmates are all incredibly unpredictable. So Why during the thing, they get taken out of their cells and we're sort of left to work, um, work the mess. As it were. So, let's see what happens. It sounds like this guy chatting away on camera. Yeah. Yeezys! Damn, he's actually getting in the mix, huh? Look. Alright, so if any of y'all are lost, he cleaned up a cell that someone was acting up in. Okay, this guy is in the mental health block. There ain't really anywhere else you could put these guys. This is like worse than the hole because these guys are mentally unstable and they'll just do weird shit in the cell all day. And that guy did some nasty stuff in his cell and what did they do? Took him out the cell, put him in another cell across from it, got someone to clean the cell, then went and got him back out that cell and put him back in another cell. Some people do it because they're really crazy and some people do it just to break the motion. The everyday life of sitting in that cell for 23 hours is same in, same out. So we're going to wrap it up right there, ladies and gentlemen. I told you this is a long episode. So that means there will be a part four. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section below.